Today's modern housing needs to provide much more than basic shelter from the elements. It must offer high standards of quality and safety throughout. Families today require a comfortable thermal environment all year round, as well as excellent acoustic protection. Equally important are fire protection and the longevity of the property, and, of course, the quality of indoor air. To address these challenges, Isaver has developed its multi-comfort house concept to meet the demands of modern living. This requires the highly efficient insulation of all construction elements, including doors and windows, a ventilation system with heat recovery, as well as high-quality installation work when connecting all components. Shortly before finalizing the construction work, it must be ensured that the whole structure is completely airtight, a delicate but highly important task. This final air tightness check is one of the most important contributions to ensuring the energy efficiency of the building envelope as well as the thermal comfort of the residents. The air tightness measurements are carried out at different air pressures to ensure an adequate level of precision and to simulate real conditions as authentically as possible. After windows and doors have been closed, all pipes and ventilation shafts are covered with elastic orange balls. A fan draws the air out of the building until a pressure difference of 50 pascals is generated between the inside and the outside of the building. After that, the flow rate needed to maintain this pressure difference is determined. 50 pascals simulates the pressure on the construction and corresponds to a wind velocity of 30 km an hour. A computer controls the speed of the motor that is used to vary the pressure applied to the house in its entirety. The pressure has to be applied in both directions, in and out, causing overpressure on the one hand and underpressure on the other hand. The technician may change the quantity of air exchanged by using various cylinders on the blower. The building envelope could be compared to an elastic membrane reacting to pressure differences. The computer measures and displays the different response times. A series of air exchange values is recorded which correspond exactly to the volume of air escaping from the building. The relation between the air exchange established at a pressure difference of 50 pascals and the volume of a room provides the N50 index. This value represents the percentage of total renewals of the room's air volume in one hour at a pressure difference of 50 pascals. Experience has shown that it's useful to combine the blower door test with IR thermography as this is a method of making leaks directly visible. At this stage of the construction work, the vario membrane is still accessible. Therefore, small corrections with the vario tape are possible. For an isovere multi-comfort house or a passive house, the value measured by the blower door test should not exceed an air exchange rate of 0.6 per hour. In our case, the result is 0.46. This proves that the planning of the details and the construction work were properly done. With new lightweight buildings or renovation projects, this test is done before the cladding is fixed so that any weak spots can still be eliminated. With solid structures made of brick, concrete and stone, however, the test is done after the building has been rendered. The blower door test for measuring a building's air tightness is one of the standard methods included in the quality control program for energy efficient houses, especially multi-comfort houses and passive houses. In addition, the planning and building authorities in some European countries now demand a certificate of air tightness for buildings which is part of a drive to increase the quality and workmanship 